So you're thinking about moving to Los Angeles, California? In this video, we're gonna dive into new construction in a neighborhood that we call Sherman Oaks, Sherman Oaks here in California. As usual, I'm gonna take you through different neighborhoods, show you different homes, different price points, so you can decide what best will fit in to your budget. So let's get started. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about living in Los Angeles, California, make sure to subscribe below and hit the bell for notifications so you can be the first one to learn about the current market here in Los Angeles, California. I'm Jana. I'm here with the Living in Los Angeles, California team and we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Los Angeles, California and we absolutely love it. So whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, so we can help you make a smooth move to Los Angeles, California. So the thing with new construction here in uh, Los Angeles or in the greater Los Angeles area is that when you find new construction, it is usually sprinkled in between older construction or older homes meaning that a buyer or a developer saw a nice neighborhood or um, a nice street, a street that they liked and they saw a property, but the property was maybe too old or too worn down and it would be too expensive to restore it, that they just decided to tear it down and then build it up from the ground up. So that is what you usually uh, find when you are looking for new construction in LA, in the LA area. However, if you are a person who are looking for those type of model homes, those new developments, neighborhoods where with five, 10, maybe 20 new homes, newly built homes, model homes, you will have to actually look, look for those on the outskirts of LA. Because in LA or in the greater Los Angeles area, we simply don't have any more, more room. There's no more space for building those type of developments. So that's why they are building them on the outskirts. So let's get started with home number one. So the home right behind me here is a brand new construction built in 2023. It is actually four homes on one lot. You have two in the front and two in the back. They are all in three or on three levels, three bedrooms with all uh, separate bathrooms. So three bedrooms and three baths, almost 2000 square feet. And the lot is also 2000 square feet. Price point for this one, 1.9 million. The homes here are very conveniently located to the Sherman Oaks Village. Sherman Oaks Village is a part of Ventura Boulevard here in Sherman Oaks, where you have your, your coffee shops, your restaurants, pizza, pizzerias, sushi, boutiques, spas, everything like back to back. Uh, you can walk the strip and uh, this street here is literally like five minutes walking distance from here. So uh, this is definitely what we will call also uh, urban, urban living, urban living in the city. And also another plus point is that the street here is actually located south of the boulevard. South of the boulevard means it's south of Ventura Boulevard, which is the term that you're gonna hear a lot if you are looking into buying homes in the San Fernando Valley, whether it's Sherman Oaks, Studio City, Woodland Hills, or any of those areas, anything located south of the boulevard are considered uh, a better neighborhood or a little more high end. And uh, of course the price point is also gonna reflect that. Another great thing about this type of property is that because the home is in three levels, each bedroom is located on its own level with its own bathroom. It's perfect for if you have people in town or even if you want to rent out a room or one of the levels or if you want to use it for Airbnb. So just something to consider when uh, you have this type of property. So let's go inside. Let's see what this home looks like.
So as I just mentioned, it's a very quiet neighborhood. It's dog friendly. I already seen like three people walk their dogs in this neighborhood. Tree lined, green, still close to uh, Ventura Village with all your everyday needs. Other than that, uh, it's a beautiful neighborhood, beautiful street, green, tree lined. Um, you're gonna see a lot of apartment buildings on the street. Uh, this area, uh, again, is kind of urban living, more than uh, suburban living. Um, part of Sherman Oaks, you will have the more suburban feel with just, you know, regular single family homes. But this area here, you'll see uh, apartment buildings, but also uh, regular single family homes. So let's go for a drive and let's see what the neighborhood has to offer. So the home right next to me, brand new construction, 2023, listed for 2.8 million, four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, two car garage, almost 3,000 square feet, beautiful backyard, beautiful pool area. The home is in two levels. The only downfall to this um, home is that it's located, it's located on a corner lot, which is usually a good thing but it's a corner of two major streets. So uh, you do have a lot of street noise. I don't know if you can hear it here on the video, but uh, there is a lot of traffic here. And uh, this is a Sunday, so uh, you can just only imagine what it would be like on a, a, on a regular weekday. But let's go inside, let's go inside and check it out. So uh, you can see for yourself. So let's go for a drive. Let's see what this Sherman Oaks neighborhood has to offer and what it looks like. So the home right behind me here is listed for 3.5 million. It's five bedrooms, six bathrooms, 4,200 square feet of living space, and almost 8,000 square feet lot. And here's the home without me standing in front of it. A little more of a close up. The home is also located on a corner lot, which, which of course always is a plus. So as mentioned, it is a brand new construction, 2023. It's beautiful. It is in two levels. There's a beautiful backyard with a pool area and a waterfalls falling into the pool. So uh, let's go inside. Let's go check it out. Let's see what it actually looks like.
so let's go for a drive. Let's see what this Sherman Oaks neighborhood has to offer. So let's head down to the Sherman Oaks village so uh, I can show you what that looks like. You are about 25 to 30 minutes away from Hollywood and West Hollywood, 30 to 40 minutes away from LAX, LA International Airport, 20 to 25 minutes away from Burbank Airport if you only need to travel domestically, and about 25 minutes away from downtown LA. And for entertainment, you have, uh, as I mentioned, the Sherman Oaks Galleria, but they also have a movie theater inside of the Sherman Oaks Galleria. We also have Sherman Oaks Castle Park, Fun for the whole family, batting cages, games, mini golf. You're 20 minutes away from Universal City Walk and Universal Theme Park with all the rides, restaurants, entertainment, and all that good stuff. And for outdoor fun, Hazel Theme Park, great for kids and families. And for you hikers out there, Dixie Canyon Park. And when it comes to restaurants, there is a lot to choose from. Of course, you have a Sherman Oaks Village with all your restaurants, gastro pubs, bars and lounges, and actually the entire Ventura Boulevard that runs from Fulton Avenue up to uh, Sepulveda Avenue uh, here in Sherman Oaks. You have a lot of restaurants, sushi, pizzeria, burger places, what have you. And uh, down by Sepulveda Avenue, you have uh, the Sherman Oaks Galleria with the Cheesecake Factory, P.F. Chang's, Frida's Mexican, uh, there's also shopping in there. It's sort of like an outdoor mall, entertainment center. Uh, there's also a 24-hour fitness. And uh, you have Starbucks and you have ice cream in that uh, area as well. And when it comes to breakfast and brunch, ton of places to choose from. Blue Jam Cafe, one of my favorites. You have Starbucks, Coffee Bean, Pete's Coffee, and uh, other cafes as well. Schools in Sherman Oaks, Dixie Canyon Avenue Elementary School, kindergarten through fifth grade with a rating of eight out of 10, Louis Armstrong Middle School, grade six through eight with a rating of seven out of 10, Van Nuys Senior High School, grade nine through 12 and with a rating with seven out of 10. All these ratings are according to gradeschools.org. You can also find other charter schools and private schools in the surrounding areas. And when it comes to shopping, of course, Ventura Boulevard, which is the main street that runs through the entire San Fernando Valley. And of course, also runs through Sherman Oaks. It starts at Fulton Avenue and goes all the way down to Sepulveda Avenue by the 405 freeway. So you have the Sherman Oaks Galleria, as mentioned, and also you have the Fashion Square Mall, which is your typical Westfields mall with all your shops and stores, food courts that we all know and love. Grocery shopping, most popular would be Ralph's, Pavilions and Whole Foods Market. And besides that, on Ventura Boulevard, you're gonna find everything from uh, clothing stores, you're gonna find banks, you're gonna find your grocery stores, you're gonna find spas, restaurants, tire shops, and uh, everything in between, everything that you need for 
daily life you're gonna find on Ventura Boulevard. And just to give you some additional information about Sherman Oaks, Sherman Oaks, California, it is located northwest of downtown LA. Population is 68,000. Average household income, 142,000. Median home value, 1.3 million. So I wanna take you through another neighborhood, a different neighborhood here in Sherman Oaks because it's just so darn cute over here. So let's hop in a car and drive to the next neighborhood. So there you have it, Sherman Oaks, new construction, another video from the Living in Los Angeles, California team. Make sure to subscribe below, hit the bell for notifications. If you need to reach us or have any questions or anything else you wanna see, please contact us. All the information is in the description below. And until next time, hope to see you somewhere around town.